Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to E3 2015. Today we're starting the day with Nintendo, followed very promptly, probably without break, uh, in the, going into Sony. The lights are bright. I'm tired as fuck. I think we're all like mentally exhausted <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Nope. I'm good. <laughs> Glasses though. You're, I'm you're super killing me. That's a smoke. great idea. No, you're this killing it, me the smoke. lights are too bright, man. I can't. Where are my glasses? <laughs> I can't do it right now. <laughs> Fucking pro move. <sighs> <laughs> oh Can I just God. say, like, I'm feeling great. Yeah, have you haven't slept sleep. well. I'm totally fine. You haven't slept since we talked last night five hours ago. Or whatever. Yeah, I slept yeah. for like a full eight I know. hours. You, you, did, you had like a full thing sleep. You were sleep. still awake, yeah. But I mean, you all look fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't go to sleep till... I rewatched every conference uh, with wow. Giant Bomb's commentary. Uh, exactly. That dedication. Which was, well, it's not even that, it's just stupidity, because there's no reason to do that, but uh, I actually got, like, re-hyped for a lot of stuff that I didn't really watch in full, trailer-wise, and I actually got to see the Mayor's Ed's trailer. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't miss anything. I watched Mayor's that trailer, trailer five times yesterday. There was, like, nothing shown I'm, in the Mayor's Ed's trailer. I'm so hyped for that trailer. Yeah. There was nothing it shown. Was not I, okay. I, I felt like I it was just, like, nothing. I think one of the like trailers nothing. I missed, like, I don't think I saw Dude. it. It's just like yeah, when the song. Don't worry, all of Twitch missed it too. Yeah, you know, what yeah. I'm saying? crashed right in the middle of it. But like when the song came on and everything, I was like getting super hyped and like chills from like the like the previous Mirror's Edge and everything. I just I really want to play it. Okay, there can was I nothing just like... quickly like recap a little bit on the conversation that JP had with me before, like before he went to bed? So I wake up. It's like oh I think it was one thirty in the morning for JP. You know, it was really nice. Like. 9.30 in the morning for me and he just starts sending me links to all these like trailers that I missed because I slept through the Sony conference and He's... he was still completely fully erect obviously and uh, <laughs> as we all are <laughs> the first, like, what was, that? was it uh, uh, like Horizon Zero the... Oblivion something terrible Horizon. name for it was Horizon. Horizon. Yeah. It was Horizon yeah. Yeah. really bad Horizon name something. for a game I'm sorry mm -hmm. what does it even mean I don't get it but uh, this like that is probably my number two right after Fallout 4 because it looked incredible. Like, I don't think you could have it. I think that the, the summation of it was post apocalyptic Tomb Raider with dinosaur Skynet and a dreadlock redhead. So, yeah, I don't think you can get any better than that. Yeah, I'm really hyped for that game. It looked it really good. Nice. It looked even better than it did uh, on Twitch because it was like full 1080p on YouTube. Um, yeah, it looked fantastic there. Fair. Uh, also, Shenmue 3 is funded. Yeah, I um, saw that. that. Holy five shit. Hours, wow. Right? Yeah, I think it was yeah. funded a while back. Like, I don't... I think it was... Uh, it was under 12 hours, for sure. Um, that was announced last night at, like, 9.30. And I think it was funded around, like, 6.30 from what people were tweeting me. Because Twitter... It's already the, two and a half The million? Twitter News Network was yeah. imme immediately just spamming my Twitter feed the second it was funded this morning, so... Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, that's a thing. I I can't believe they announced a Kickstarter on a fucking press conference at E3. I know. Like that, that is a weird no world. I'm to be talking about that. No, that's a lot of people are very... A lot of people are actually... If if you go to where the gamers hang out over at Neogaff.com, uh, they're actually very upset. <laughs> Shout out! Sure. Shout out! There's, yeah. there's a lot of people... Well, there, yeah. there's some people that are upset. Some people are just uh, super into it. So... Yeah. I don't know. I'm finding a few people that are like, to, like uh, says a lot Sony about Kickstarter. Yeah. I think it's a weird approach. Like, I don't know if it's, I don't want to see this from every single studio or whatever, but I think for a game like this being such an old remake, I it's good that they're doing it this way because they're not going to have the limitations of the publisher. You know, they get to do exactly what they want to do, which has been how long now? Like 10 years? It's been a while. So, okay. I mean, I feel like that, a, new, a new publisher is going to want to change a lot of shit to make it, like, you know, modern or whatever. And I'm sure they don't want to do that. Maybe they do, like, but maybe they don't. So, that was the most, like, ambiguous statement I've ever made. No, I think that you, you <laughs> guys right. are really It's early. Because like, you mentioned how it's, 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 actually, it's already got a fan base. It's a game that is, you know, like, they need to just do it justice for their fans. So, well, I mean, that's, kind of it's skirt around the publisher then you don't you can do it justice and not disappoint it's your... literally the only way that game would ever be made ever because no one fucking cares about shinmu in 2015 except for the billions of people that played shinmu 2 eons ago and it's just like man shinmu 3 would be great 
and then they can throw money at it. And to be honest, like what I, from what I'm reading, everyone talking about that, the 2 million is literally a point where whatever investors that they have will now throw all their money at it because it, it's not going to take, you can't make Shinmu three for 2 million. That's like pennies for what that game actually is going to cost. Um, so you're literally like pre-ordering a game that doesn't exist when you, when you do that on Kickstarter, that is 100% what you're doing. Um, and I think whoever it is that's backing it, perhaps it's Sony because it was at the Sony conference. Uh, I hope they get their additional money and then Shinmu is actually a cool thing. So we'll see. Uh, I think they said somewhere on the Kickstarter that's scheduled for like 2017 winter or December or something like that is their targeted launch date. And expected to get pushed back. Yeah, I mean, probably. But I mean, it, that's it's two years out. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's about average, we'll at see. least for early access. We'll see. Uh, sorry, I'm posting all of the conferences from last night because they finally rendered. Uh, so Nintendo, can they even like make a blip in yesterday? I don't know what they show because they've already said they're not showing anything. I have a feeling it's going to be disappointing. Well, we know they're not going to give us Zelda. Uh, are they going to give yeah. us Kingdom Hearts? That's it. Uh, that's going to be at Square. That'll be at Square. Right. So, I don't know. The only thing I can think of that would generate any kind of buzz would be a new Metroid. That's yeah. the only thing that Metroid's, I can think yeah. of. Metroid's the yeah. only thing they could... I think they Bayonetta will and three? can show. Do what? A Bayonetta 3 could generate a lot of hype. Mm. You know, well, that, a lot of people a thought... Bayonetta. A lot of people thought that uh, Platinum's unannounced game was going to be that, but I think Platinum's unannounced game is that uh, the fucking Transformers dinosaur game that they're making, the like cell shaded. How many one. dinosaur games are there now? Like coming out this year or next year? <laughs> the new zombies. I mean, it's, I'm, the new, I'm a, it's the new survival game. It's I'm okay with Transformers having a, a dinosaur game. Like they're the original di dinosaur people, right? Like that was in the fucking 80s where Grim or early 90s, I guess, where Grimlock and all them came out. So. But yeah, yeah, I could I, see though. I could see that some sort of Pokemon, either it would be like Pokemon Snap U, or a new Pokemon for the Wii U would be pretty big. Like some sort of high res, yep. like console based Pokemon would be pretty big in my opinion. Maybe not to all of us, but like Pokemon sells a huge fan base, and like that moving to a main console would be huge. Even Snap, like I would. Oh my God, can you imagine using the pad to play Snap? That'd be amazing. What? Okay, Waffle. Let's go down a dark hole here. Let's go to the. Okay. Let's go to the dark timeline. Okay. What if they announce a <laughs> Pokemon, Pokemon card game? game. <laughs> no, a po I'll fucking one up the Pokemon. <laughs> Fuck the Pokemon card game. What if they announce a Pokemon game on the Wii U, but in order to have the Pokemon, you have to have their amiibo? Ooh. Would we expect anything less? Like I think. I mean, I'd probably stroke the Nintendo dick some more and do it. But I mean, that sounds fun. Can you imagine the the money they would make if they <laughs> sold that shit? And the only re the only way you could get fucking Charizard would be to have his goddamn amiibo for $15. The I think only, even you can't better, catch him in the wild. Even better go is if you had to buy like a pack <laughs> of them and you didn't know what you're going to get. So you had like rare ones. So you'd end up with like fucking 90 fucking Pikachus or whatever at the end of it trying to get all 150 yeah. or so. Gotta buy them all. And they come in like giant the boxes and just cost you a fucking arm and a leg. Fucking like, Awada like just comes out just like sniffing money and shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god. It'd be great. Get, get the rare Reggie sniffing a line of coke, like amiibo. Like, yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be great. It'd be great. I, mean, I don't we, think that's we talked happen. to we talked about Pokemon a little bit yesterday, or was it Monday? I, I lose track now, but I I feel strongly, man. Like it would be awesome for them to have a non-mobile Pokemon game, like a proper console. Yeah. Pokemon. Pokemon well, Snap was amazing. And the last two real. Pokemon releases have been just for the 3DS, right? And they've been remakes? Two? No, all of them. All of has them there, have been remakes, there, yeah. I mean, Pomon Snap okay. for 64, right? That was a Pokemon game for a console. Yeah, back on the uh, 64. Is yeah. there, like, anything else on there for console? They did... What Wasn't Pokemon Battle Stadium a thing on, oh. a, on a console? I, I, uh, there, was a, a, there was a Pokemon Rumble for the Wii yeah. store, which was actually quite fun. It wasn't very Pokemon game-ish. Uh, but it was tremendously fun. I liked that one a lot. Damn, what were you gonna say? Yeah, I, I, yeah they had uh, they had a Pokemon uh, Wii game, Wii U game, where you had to buy these little figurines and stuff. Um, but it didn't sell very well at all, and no one. It was a bad game, so that, that kind of flopped. So I, I, I would hope that they would go back and do the, a Pokemon game like 
you know, Skylanders style, like that would be something that would sell big time on the Wii U and push some consoles if there was a 3D like MMO style Pokemon game. Like we can dream, but they pretty much have said that they're never going to bring Pokemon like that to the console. They're they're in such uh, a weird console. spot, right? Because they've mm-hmm. already announced the NX. You can't get people super excited for your current console for the next three years when you've already announced the next console. Like how? Do, I don't know. I I yeah. don't know how you're if you're Nintendo. I think you you do like I think you do a Metroid. I think you do. You have to do something as big as Pokemon. And then you save, since you've already said you're going to, you save your Zelda and your Mario for the new system at launch, and that's it. Like, I don't know what yeah. else is coming out on the Wii U in the next three years. If they could years. offer some new way to use Amiibos, that'd be pretty cool. I don't know how they, um, I don't know in what sort of, a new IP that uses Amiibos would be pretty nice. Or I don't know how you can even do IP with Amiibos, does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, there's a billion IPs, right? Just in yeah. the Amiibos, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I would be shocked if there wasn't Mario Maker stuff. Oh, there, there's yeah, Star Fox, already, like, isn't there? Announced that that's supposed to. They're gonna touch mm-hmm. on that, right? Like that, that's what I mean. Like they're gonna they're gonna yeah. talk about that in some capacity. What, oh about my what? god, Mario Maker. Oh yeah, Mario Maker set. would definitely be there. Imagine mm-hmm. a Monster Hunter open world MMO. Oh, open world <laughs> RMO. You know, they, oh. if they they could show them. Um, is, if they show like Monster Hunter 4 Wii U and it's just the fucking done up 3DS version that looks like ass, yeah, I would be pissed. Mm-hmm. If they show a proper like Monster Hunter release, I'd be stoked. Yeah, An that's, exclusive that's Monster one of those, Hunter would be good. That's one of the one of the few titles that really gets people's attention that don't care about Nintendo IP normally. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You get people you get people into Mon Hun that uh, you know wouldn't ever buy a Wii U for anything else. I don't know. I was pleasantly surprised with Splatoon. Last year it was a new IP and people were kind of shit-talking it and now that I've played it... it well, I, people in the hardcore community were shit-talking it. Everyone else was just like, you know, that looks... that looks. Pr- I'll play that. That looks great. It looks fun, yeah. And it turned out to be pretty okay. Like, pretty cool for a new Nintendo... It's a weird Nintendo IP, like... Oh, yeah, They've but never done it. anything like that yeah. before. Um, but it's a it's a Nintendo IP, so that's cool. I mean, maybe they do uh, some more of that stuff. Maybe there's there's new things like that. Honestly, I think we're. I don't want to get too overhyped. I don't know what to expect from Nintendo. Chad is saying that Monster yeah. Hunter Online is a thing in Japan already. It's poop. Yeah, I it's think really? I'm pretty sure it's poop. Well, it, they they've had Monster Hunter Online in in Korea and or Korea and China for a couple, and I think Japan well as well for a couple years, like two or three years. Um, we've just never had it over here in the U.S. But I don't know. I don't know. I. I think Chat's right. I think we can definitely expect a Star Fox uh, release date, probably. Well, yeah. they don't even have the game announced, do they? I guess they they kind of do. Yeah, they do. Like they've they've right. kind of soft announced it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. Are there other other games that fall into that that they've talked about but haven't? Well, I mean, I, I the Super Mario Maker. Uh, I yeah, think it's yeah. announced for yeah. this holiday season. I think that comes out this this weekend <laughs> or the, this weekend. Jesus, mm-hmm. this this uh. Winter, uh, it has to because what the fuck else are they gonna put out? And then I think for like a spring launch or a summer launch of 2016, they they announce like a Metroid or a Star Fox. They have to because okay, what else do they fucking have? Okay, so mm-hmm. two dreams. Someone said something in chat after I was thinking something. Some way, I know they already have like the retro system, but some way to bring back a lot of the old games, even more of them that we loved. I mean, like, in Nintendo, we made a lot of memories in older games and everything. I know they have the retro system, but, like, a more. Like, I want fucking, like, tw- like more. I'm not going to say 20. I want, like, all the fucking old games, all the old ROMs and everything moved over to the emulator on the Wii U. And, I guess, you know, for you the, mean Wii, all the, the Wii U stuff? as well. Yeah. yeah. And oh, then, the I think dream. It, the dream. Someone said, new Chrono Trigger. Could you imagine? No, someone uh, even said... Square. Could you imagine? <laughs> and someone I said, said new Super down. Mario Sunshine, and that's what I fucking want. You know, or new I... Louis- I I would cry if they're just like, you know, we said this, but fuck it. Let's just put a new Mario game out on the Wii U. That would be the one thing that would, like, blow up fucking E3. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing that would make everyone go crazy. They want to make an impression? That's how you do it. If they they showed a new Mario, like a 3D Mario, full-on 3D. I mean, they're one of those companies that's sitting on so many franchises that... They could play it. You know, same. they could they could announce a new title from any number of things that haven't been touched in a while. That would get me like as a 
at heart, I'm a retro gamer, right? I've been playing Nintendo games since the '80s, so uh, they could they could pull back some stuff from my childhood, and I would get super hyped. I don't know if that that would sell a bunch of consoles to resurrect a dead franchise, but yeah, <laughs> I'd be losing my mind. What, what well, you have to remember that, like, the demographic of people who have a lot of money at their disposal is our age group. So mm -hmm. they could easily go back to their roots, pull something out completely redo it right and pull on all of our nostalgic heartstrings and yeah. make us open up our wallets so it's entirely possible a lot of people yeah, are just so saying super mario rpg sequel that would be super out of left field but i'd be totally into that yeah that would be since they don't have like a big flagship mario or zelda title like a remaster of another one that was sort of like they did with wind waker would be a good in between filler until they can have something next like year like a super mario 64 like, hd yeah, or Galaxy hype. HD, or you know, uh, sun, if they did a Galaxy remastered. HD, I would be so fucking hyped, actually. Yeah, that would generate some uh, some buzz. Because those, those the the Galaxy games are like for me some of the best Mario games. Uh, they yeah, they were some, fantastic. It's a lot of people's favorites. Yeah. All right, I got it. Fucking Mario meets Pokemon. All right, so fucking Ash <laughs> Mario to, meets Ash Pokemon. fucking falls like <laughs> with sickness, and he has to fucking become a Pokemon ma or Pokemon master. <laughs> Fucking Mario has to fucking raise a Pikachu on his own <laughs> while playing fucking like retro games on his fucking uh, Pokedex and like, you know, I guess Pokemon Snap at the same time. All right, fucking like one huge fucking beautiful new IP. What, what if they Not just really. announced that Mario is now called Mario? What if that's that'd be Mario? great? <laughs> that'd be fucking Change great. It. They just change it. I'd be into it. It's his cousin they don't talk about much, Mario. It's fucking Mario. <laughs> Everyone knows God. Mario. You know what? All I want is a fucking new Wii music so I can watch them look ridiculous on stage again and just laugh my fucking ass off because that it was, was uh, ridiculous. I don't know why they haven't done uh, fucking... Was it Mario Paint? Was that the name of the, the thing that came with the mouse back on the... Oh, yeah, Mario uh, Paint. Oh, on the yeah, SNES? Mario Paint. You guys remember that, the game Splat from that? I think it was called Splat. The fly trap game or the the fly swatter game, was that splat? <laughs> I never I never had that as a kid, but I've I've seen video yeah. of it. Uh, I'm trying to see if that was the actual name of it. Someone in chat will correct me, but that that game had some of the best fucking music on the SNES. Yeah, Google Chat. Come on, chat. What was that called? <laughs> was it splat? The fly swatter. Yeah, it was the fly swatter game. Everyone remembers it. I think it was splat. I would play the the music, but that might actually get copyright. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and I think we get a Xenoblade uh, X oh, launch. Oh, so in, once in the a, US. Yeah, a new I think Kirby that's game. announced. Like, or sorry, the the actual date. And I think it's it has yeah. to be like November, October ish. I think that's what they, they need launch. a big. They need something big for this holiday, and, it's and I, I don't even know if that's big enough, but. That yeah. that gets announced and that gets launched for 2015. Your chat is starting to talk about Duck Hunt for Wii U. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They had it, uh, you know you just pair it with your your Wii U controller and your Oculus Rift. You know. I mean, right. fuck. They put <laughs> they put Duck Hunt in uh, in fucking Smash this year, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's a they playable did, character. Yeah. Dude, someone said yeah. new Kirby game. I would love to see some sort of like new Kirby Air Ride because that was like my favorite game ever. They've already uh, done that franchise, though. Like, I, I feel like they've already. I guess they have, but I don't like Kirby's what they've been doing yarn. with it recently, like I the yarn and stuff. Like, yeah. I don't, maybe it's just me. I'm not really a huge fan of the game, but uh, I think it's the art style strange. I kind of want something. I mean, it's already 2D. You don't gotta make it stylized, but that's what they wanted to do. How long has it been since we've had an F Zero? A long time. F F Zero. Uh, what is it? GX two or something for like the three the two DS. I don't know. It's been a long fucking time. Not 2DS. That That's one of those from my childhood that the I love. The DS, I guess. I, the, I, I had F-Zero for the Super Nintendo. <clears throat> Loved that freaking game. Oh, shit. If they came out with another Mega Man. Yeah. Uh, Mega Man, Mega Man. They already showed <laughs> the, the Mega play. Man collection, which is Mega Man 1 through 6 uh, coming out later this year. And it's all they're just HD-ified, which is really dumb because it's the same graphics, but just at 1080p. So it's like emulated Mega Man for the new console. I don't know. It's one of the buzzwords for E3 this year. Just remastered. Well, yeah, this that's entire year is yeah. that. It's because fucking Yay. yeah. Regurgitation. That, that's literally because like all of the executives are like, guys, we don't, we don't have any fucking games. Like we need 
fucking games to come out this year so people have stuff to play. <laughs> yeah. And if you're Put Capcom, it's like, guys, vault. let's let's remake every game we have. Every, every yeah. game. <laughs> every game, let's remaster it. Because we don't have any fucking yeah. original ideas. Just do everything. We can't. Yeah. We care about Mega Man now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, you, you know, that seemed like such a shitty reaction to the fucking, uh, uh, what's it called? The the Kickstarter game that I'm blanking on from the Mega Man creator. Uh, Mighty Number no. 9. Yeah. That seemed like such a reaction to the success of that Kickstarter. It's like, hey, guys, yeah. you remember, remember the original oh, Mega Man? Man? I've remember pissed that? off some people in chat who are, like, clearly all... <laughs> 30 plus and are like no i need everything remastered my childhood in hd like i mean it's it's delicate. cool for sure there's no doubt about it right it, it's great but <laughs> we want new ips but we just want fucking new games like it's it's that's the biggest thing you think it's yeah. uh you think a new sonic after the old what was it sonic uh what was that old, like Man. sonic boom you fucking, hear about that catastrophe do you know the state of sonic right now like it is in the shitter yeah. Oh it is so my! Bad. I watched the Game Grumps play all the way through Sonic Boom, and I almost couldn't do it. Like it was that bad. <laughs> they, didn't they just? And they announce? made it funny. Oh yeah. my god! Uh, yeah, they there just announced been. Sonic. I think it's, I think it's actually called Rise of the Lyric. Yeah. No. 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 Okay. What? That might be it. Isn't what? that Sonic Boom? <laughs> no. I. This is the new game. I think it's called uh, Rise okay. of the Lyric. Because I thought Sonic Boom had lyric in it, which was the boss person. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. Sonic Boom: Rise of the Lyric came out in 2014. Yeah, and it was like the Wait, most unfinished the shit ever. Have you seen this game? It was fucking about? awful. Sonic Boom: Rise of the Lyric. What? I, yeah. God isn't that just what Sonic Boom is? Like, isn't I? I mean, cool. what is the new? Yes. I'm trying to think of the new Sonic game because someone had like an amazing headline for it. And it was like all of the Sonic characters that had like the the shocked faces on it, and then the headline was like, "Yeah, even the Sonic characters are announced or are, are fucking in shock that they have a new game." <laughs> that was how bad it was, <laughs> and it was hilarious. And that's the only reason I remember it. It's Sonic Fire and Ice. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Let me Google this. Sonic Fire and Ice. What is this shit show? Uh, that that brought up Nerf. That brought off what? Why did that bring up Nerf? Whatever. It's Let's out just there. Not talk about Figure Sonic right don't, after what happened. Don't give Sonic. <laughs> no if you talk about him enough, he'll eventually just disappear once again, back into your so, hearts. So some Mario, some Moogaman, some Kirby. Uh, <laughs> what else do we want to see? Some Star Fox. Yeah, what else? I think Star Fox is shown. Bayonetta. Yeah, I think that's the one thing. Yeah, I would love some Bayonetta. I mean, I watched Dan play that. <laughs> yeah. He's just mispronouncing amazing. everything. Yeah. Why are you just mis yeah. Bayonetta? <laughs> it's Bayonetta. Mario. <laughs> what else? What else? Maybe fucking new Wii Sports. Like, is no. there a new one? I'm, no. Uh, I think motion what? game okay. is kind of dead. It, but haven't yeah. they like always done something like that? Like something like you know, like uh, what was that one fucking Wii U Land or fucking Nintendo Land or whatever it was? Like, haven't they always done? Uh, yeah, that was the launch. Like that? Yeah, but that's always at launch, right? Mm -hmm. To sell the system, and Nintendo Land yeah. was the biggest failure in comparison to Wii Sports. Uh, mm -hmm. which, which was the huge thing for the Wii, right? Hmm. I mean, uh, I don't, I don't know uh, who has the rights these days, but another, another title from my childhood I would love to see redone for Wii U would be a Contra. Uh, Konami probably has that shit, and Konami's just like mobile games. <laughs> I don't give <laughs> yeah, a that's shit. Probably. <laughs> I don't give a shit about anything else right now. Uh, I mean, I, that could exist, but. Oh my god. I think if you Power bring that Glove out. Remastered. Yeah, Power Glove Remastered. Power Glove. With like a fucking pad on the like the wrist and everything. Dude, great idea. That shit would be ridiculous. A, a new banjo could definitely be something that they mm -hmm. show on the Wii. Uh, I'd be... I mean, Rare's like already locked down, so I don't know how the fuck that could happen. Uh, Rare's obviously locked down with, with uh, Microsoft, but I don't know how that could happen. I, I didn't see the Sony stuff last night, but it seems like the rest of E3 has kind of had a lack of like straight, tr like straight up RPG. Yeah, so. and I think Xenoblade X fills that role. Uh, Yo, but I'm just calling it right now. Fucking Maple Story with you. Maple Story. They might. Uh, they might announce a release date for that one game they announced, the Shin Megami Tensei slash Fire Emblem crossover that's exclusive to the Wii U. Oh yeah, that'll probably be there. 
Yeah, that's something kind of big if they could show off. It probably won't release this year, but they could at least show it. Someone said Mega Man card game. <laughs> they can't do it. There would be no. <laughs> I don't think there's any card oh, game on the Wii U. Fucking knock on yeah. some wood. Oh, they won't do that shit. <laughs> New Paper Mario Watch, would be kind of cool. Do it now. New Paper Mario would be cool. Wasn't Pikmin yeah. a failure like the last one? Uh, I don't think it sold that well. Yeah. yeah. And and I I didn't enjoy the game. I I know people who did, but I was not a fan of that. Oh, Animal Crossing for Wii U. Yeah, on a lot of people are interested in that. Ooh. Yeah, HD Animal Crossing. I hope I I hope it's like an HD Animal Crossing that's like adult, because then Tom yeah. Nook could be the fucking like villain that he really is, and just yeah. like beat the shit out of people when they don't pay him. And <laughs> Look just, I'm like, gonna bust your kneecaps <laughs> yeah, instead of be growing great. fruit. You're gonna like, give him my money. It'd be great. You like you like grow weed and crack instead of uh, yeah you know, yeah. Imagine that on a Nintendo conference. Okay, so what are the odds that they're gonna? Announce a new IP. Uh, uh, they almost always do, high. don't they? I would say pretty high. Yeah. I th I think they have to. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Or they what they don't it have could third be. party anymore. They got to have some first party IPs. Yeah. Is how it is. Although <laughs> the only like third party they have is Ubisoft uh, with Just Dance 2016. That might be yeah. the only third party game on the Wii U that I and know Skylanders. Of. They got that. And Skylanders. <laughs> you're right. You're right. The other Toys to Life. <laughs> or I guess is Disney Infinity on Wii U? Yeah, they're on there too. Yeah. So all the Toys to Life shit but is on there. That's right. Exclusive. Yeah, anything for kids they they put on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jade Empire. What? Jade Empire's like never been on the. You're just throwing out. You're literally like on Wiki and like random game. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's just type Google that random in the chat. games. Throw them in chat. I I swear, chat seems like uh, Nintendo related wiki searches just threw up in, in a pile. <laughs> yeah, it's just like yeah, every the real every name is, of every title and every can game. Can we see some Power Stone? Okay, that's what I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Yeah. What the fuck? I'm curious on how this is gonna work on uh, on Twitch because like they just now went to this card from last night. So they don't even have a card up for Nintendo yet. And we're a minute out. Yeah. Uh, and that would really suck if I can't watch this on, on twitch.tv slash twitch. They should just uh, put up like a blank purple screen. Uh, are they live on uh, twitch.tv slash Nintendo? Um, Let me see. Let's Let find see. out. I'm going to say yes because they see. were live. Yeah, they are. With 165,000. Of course. They're bringing it. They're bringing it. Ooh. Makes me uh, well, it just started, and we have nothing on twitch.tv slash twitch. And we okay, can't watch why? it if it's not there? Or how's why it am I not surprised? <laughs> uh, oh, Lord. We it, can't yeah, The digital it event has started. It's, it does say Nintendo in the um, schedule below on the Twitch page. Why is there a Muppet right now on the fucking screen? I what is this I'm watching this. Is that Iwata? Iwata's a Muppet, too. Oh, my Iwata's God. A Muppet? <sighs> Are you serious, Twitch? Did no one wake up to put the fucking Nintendo conference? Fucking God damn it! What is uh like? What are people in the chat on here saying? Uh, there'd be a Muppets game on Wii U. They've got seventy k, and it's just like nothing. A Muppets game? <laughs> a Muppets I don't know. game? That would be interesting. Don't know intro. What I'm it's a kid-friendly right IP. <laughs> Reggie. Oh my god, fucking Reggie. I don't even know what to make out of this. Like, it's kind of bizarre. What is happening right yeah, now? It's Reggie, dude. <laughs> Fuck, his body is ready. <laughs> oh my god. I love how he's counting at Nintendo 64 3, Nintendo 64. What the heck are they doing? Are they. That looks really creepy how they're fucking walking down. Oh, here yeah. we go. Here Wait. we go, here we go, here we go. Stream it's will begin in a film. Do they just cut straight to it? Yeah, they Maybe did. They, they just literally can't... just cut straight to it on Twitch. There we go. Okay. <laughs> And blurry oh, that's playing fucking music. <laughs> Shut up, Monster Cat. <laughs> this is fucking. <laughs> this is. These are this really well done. Weird. I love it, man. I love it. They're, they're the well done enough to be shit? creepy. Yeah. Watch the them walk on stage. God. If they walk on stage like this, I swear to God. It just, it, they like this the what? whole time. <laughs> that walk is killing me. Can you imagine the memes that are gonna come out of this shit? This is literally Nintendo Please. being like, yo, Ubisoft, this is how you we make a, a meme, guys. you Do dumb you French hotel? fucks. Yeah. Like, what yeah. are you doing? We need a hoop god, <laughs> quick. <laughs> hoop god. 
<laughs> Not walk, man. Oh, okay. Be fresh like Ready, me, walk like this. Are, gentlemen. Okay, so I Star Fox, I guess. My oh my god, <laughs> they're trying. Yep, must be. Yep, Star Fox. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Reggie looks like a drag queen. <laughs> With his feathers. <laughs> <laughs> what did he, what the hell? What it's an so interesting wait, way. Who is, oh that okay, they're doing all Star Fox characters. Yeah. yeah. This is the this is so fucking weird. <laughs> is it like I, what a wow. weird way This is Star so Fox. weird. <laughs> I, <laughs> That, even that guy's fucking freaked out. Yeah. <sighs> Japan, man. <laughs> I can't take this. What in the fuck is going on? Hey, Fox. <laughs> World for me. Hey, Fox. This is just asking roll. for another yeah, wall of Did he just, Oh, he said fox. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought I he said, hey, fox. And I'm like, what? Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> you changed. Yeah. World premiere. I, there you go. Here's Star Fox. I hope this is like the 64 Star Fox. I fucking love that game. It was so good. Okay, this looks cool. Yeah. God, the, the Twitch stream looks fucking terrible. Yeah, the Nintendo stream looks great, though. Yeah. yeah. If you're watching along, uh, just go to the Nintendo stream and mute that stream to listen to us or something. Because this looks terrible. Whoa. Yeah, they have a preset wrong or something. I mean, do they? Or was that how they got permission to rebroadcast it? <laughs> I don't know. This, by making it terrible. That looks pretty cool, the on-ground stuff. Yeah. All right, there's tank mode. What is that? Yes, all range mode. I love it. It's the copter mode. That's kind of weird. Little barrel roll. Star Fox Zero. Switching to all range mode. Let's take the offensive. It seems like the, there's a huge delay between the two streams. Oh, is there? I think they're actually just streaming the stream. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Twitch is like about 10 seconds behind. Yeah, I bet they're literally just well, open the stream and just Well, we've got our don't, answer. Holiday 2015. So yeah. Don't spoil was... too much. I live right by if you're the watching uh, Nintendo. Nintendo. Shrine. I've had a relation with this shrine since I was a child. Because of that, I felt that I was always protected, as if it's my guardian angel. Dude, that's fucking the dog from Persona. When I was a Four. child, Damn. there was a TV show about <laughs> fighter planes called oh, yeah. Birds. <laughs> fucking yep. Yeah. That inspired me to make a game that had cinematic elements, with each character having a distinct personality and their own drama. That would be reflected in the dialogue and appear in scenes like where a cool character and enemies would appear. I'm here for a job, of course. Oh and it looks my like I god. When it came to talking pig. about details regarding how to make the main characters look and feel, we talked about all sorts of types of people. But ever since I was in school, I drew comics with caricaturized humanoid animals and decided that the characters in this game should be based off animals. I then talked about it with Emma Morrison, the designer, and we thought about the fox image. Then I thought, let's try making a fox the main character. We're entering Corneria City now. When there's an arch, you want to go under it, right? That's the kind of game sure, I yeah. wanted to make. Sure, yeah. Sure, Miyamoto. I, when there's an arch, I want to go under it. <laughs> Thinking about the shrine, this place is known for the row of arches. So we went with this idea to create a game where you would fly through different arches. I saw, like, the hyper shot in the game, and that, that actually got me Star hyped. Fox is a game where you use Yo, a control stick. Are you saying stick, I can fly a plane like now? the one you'd find on a plane. When you fly like. a real plane, you need to pull back on the control so stick because to fly I can fly up, in Star right? Fox, I can fly a plane in real life. Oh my god. you can use the gyro on oh the gamepad to look all around and feel really immersed in the game. Yeah, that's immersive. That's what I... We'd like people to play oh, as Come on, Nintendo. It's 2015. Plane. Most it's controls really are dead, bro. Yeah. 
fuck gyroscope aiming. Wii U with its two screens. Fuck we it. experimented with gameplay with ideas before this iteration of Star Fox. It's gonna be impossible to stream. There were two screens that each serves a specific purpose. For example, we've tested using one screen for a more cinematic view and the other for gameplay. The Wii U gamepad has a gyro, and it's a big reason we decided to make this game. It's a cockpit view, so it feels like you're in the cockpit like this. You can aim by moving the gamepad around. In the other Star Fox games, you play by controlling your plane in third person on one screen. This time, the game world is shown on the TV, and you can focus in to aim on the gamepad. Oh, by that using is... two screens, you Why? can see yourself flying in third person this. on the TV <laughs> while shooting terrible. down at the enemies below you from mm -hmm. the cockpit view on the gamepad. You can be really immersed in the experience. No, you so can't. That's, something that's I terrible. Hope people can check out. Okay. Can't be immersed in on shit. On the Nintendo 64 system, you had to use a lot of buttons, but now with the Wii U gamepad. You can use two sticks to do things like speed up and flip around. There's only one ago. button to fire all the <laughs> different weapons. That's the hardware. So there are four buttons left, and with that, we thought, why not use these buttons to make <laughs> yeah. the R wing? Transform. It's literally I'm using tilt controls, chat. Like and this game looks better than Star Fox 64, but not other for you know? turn. <laughs> exactly. exactly. And how long ago was that? The R wing transforming <laughs> into a walker. That was in Star Fox 2. But since that game didn't make it out, I'm glad we were able to have it appear. What? The R Wing transformation mechanic actually looks like it and makes a lot of sense. There's the Landmaster. Did he just say Gyro Wing? I'm pretty sure he just said Gyro Wing. There's and the meme. Also, the Gyro Wing. Hashtag gyro which yeah, which adds a lot of breadth to gameplay. With it, you can perform a lot of tasks as Fox. You can also play different stages with other vehicles, too. So I hope you'll have fun trying out that horses with cool. different vehicles, even after you clear the game. We've rebuilt the game using ideas from the past, Dan but it's not a left. part like, four or the, part I'm five. Out. I can't it's take this shit, either. Nintendo. So we named it Star Gyro Fox Wings. Zero this time. Nope. I got my own wang. I'm good. Gyro wang. The subtitle Zero was taken from how the kanji Hero character wing. looks in calligraphy. Hero wing? I don't even know how to say that. Star Fox is based off of the Japanese culture that inspired me. This is kind so of a I wanted people letdown. around the world to see this cool kanji character in the logo. Oh my god, Amiibos. When I saw it, it reminded running. me of a foxtail. You're spoiling it, the man. You're like 10 seconds ahead. And added the logo. It looks cool. Star Fox Zero. Hi, and welcome to Nintendo's digital event for E3 2015. I'm Reggie Fisame, Hi, Reggie. president of Nintendo of America. I love you, Reggie. We began today having Wait, a little fun was, imagining was, ourselves as characters Shannon. in the Star Fox Yeah, Shannon, just mute yourself. Oh, no, I already was muted, dude. Oh, but that oh, opening I don't know was more bleeding. than just fun. It also represents a theme you're going to encounter consistently throughout Nintendo's experience for E3. That theme is transformation. Recently, Mr. Iwata has made several announcements on how Nintendo itself is being transformed with expansion to universal theme parks, mobile devices, and our new dedicated game platform, codename NX, oh, wow. which we'll tell you more about in 2016. Oh, there you go. Today, that Our purpose is more immediate, to focus on the transformations you'll be enjoying Shaving, right inside your Nintendo gameplay in the coming months. If, there, if there's a secret to the longevity of Nintendo franchises, it is transformation. We never let them stand still. There always has to be something new, something compelling. And that even Which applies is celebrating to celebrating its game. 30th anniversary in 2015. To say he's been transformed over the years is obvious, but along the way, he's also transformed gaming, from establishing All right, the platform so new Mario, genre what is this? on the NES. I don't know, Probably but it's Mario Maker. World on us. Like Super Mario, Mario 64. It's gonna go fucking nuts. Later this oh, year, the, uh, Super Mario yeah, Maker will take the next Maker, yeah. step by turning the essence of game creation over to he you, said later this year. our fans. They show this again. 
Now, players will become creators yeah, this looks cool. as you build your own Mario levels that can be shared globally with friends. And who knows, uh -oh. maybe even I'll be playing and of course beating your latest creation. Oh God. Finally, nothing in our history has transformed our franchises quite like Amiibo. We're 11 and minutes in and they're saying week, finally? There are more new Amiibo yeah. on the way and more games for them to inhabit. In fact, right now, let's see how Amiibo are about to show up in a totally unexpected way. Oh my god, that just looks terrible on stream. I know, it's pixelating like crazy. So at this like year's crazy. Nintendo Digital Nintendo event, Nintendo stream. the team put uh, me right to work. So stream. I'm pleased to be here with Karthik Bala from the Vicarious Vision studio at Activision. And Karthik, we've got some great news to share. Yeah, so you know, the hallmark of the Skylanders franchise has always been deliver brand new innovation and the highest quality game experience. For the first time, we're bringing a whole new toy category to life. We're bringing vehicles to life this year Wait, with our what? new game, Skylanders Superchargers, and really blending it to this epic vehicle adventure. But there's more to <clears> it, right? We've got two unexpected guest stars. So introducing turbocharged Donkey Kong and his vehicle, the Barrel Blaster. Uh, we also have Bowser. This is Hammer Slam Bowser and his vehicle, the Clown Cruiser. Bowser Seriously. is always my favorite. I don't know why people say that I look like Bowser and at times act like Bowser. <laughs> as you're playing as these figures, as you have the, the various vehicles, what happens? So they have complete move sets and upgrade trees of, um, of powers and abilities, some of which are natural, things that you would expect, like Donkey Kong throwing barrels and Bowser slamming down his hammer, but also really unexpected moves that harken back to elements of lore within the 30 years of history of these characters. What else can, uh, can these figures do? If you put the figure on a Skylander's oh. portal, they act as a Skylander, but you can twist uh, the base and switch it to Amiibo, <laughs> and it can be used as an Amiibo in another <laughs> Nintendo game. Fucking Neptune! So again, these characters, these vehicles, <laughs> only playable on this, Nintendo. This will sell me you know. <laughs> ah! So as you go through this collaboration with I Nintendo, know, a company say. that is very protective of its franchises, that always likes to have total control what was that like in terms of working with us to bring these fabulous experiences I hope that to fucking life. Goomba just comes big, over like, and starts Nintendo eating him, man. Look at that shit. You know, I think we he may wants have been it. a little too cautious at first. We wanted to have a form of Bowser where he became really big and, you know, we the pitched the idea of using Giga so Bowser. Strong, and, and, uh, and this is when the <laughs> Nintendo team said, no, 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 do something different. You know, <laughs> something new. We created Magma no Bowser. Right. You know, he's never been seen before. And, you know, his fire breath just becomes this insane flamethrower. We, we wanted to uh, set the Koopa on fire, and, uh, and they said, use dry bones. Right. And so, like, dry bones, and they, they said, well, here's all the material for dry bones. And it was They're just, spending way you know, too much building time on top this. of that. Oh and uh, we just didn't, yeah. you know, we didn't think that we were going to get away with all of this stuff. Karthik, thank you so much hey, for sharing this information. And throughout the entire Nintendo week, we're going to be sharing more life. and more information. I mean, you and your team are going to grace us at Nintendo to be honest, Live, and there's going to be a lot that's more information That's going to make them a fuck ton of money. I'm super excited. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But it, we just don't care. That's why oh, God, we're back. What's next? Fucking sour, please. We're back. <laughs> we're back. We're back. Please. No! The idea was the puppets. I, <laughs> what is going on? Quick, oh, cut yeah. to the Muppets. <laughs> Wait, what? Why did Link just show up in fucking Mario Maker? Was that on purpose? Wait. Wait, what uh, the fuck yes. is this? Is, is this three? Oh. Oh. Yeah, yes. Oh. So you have to buy three 3DSs to play this game? What the fuck? <laughs> I gotta know. Literally Nintendo, all you're so smart! 3DSs? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. You, you hook them together, you can stack them on top. Damn! Can you guys hear me right now? Yes. Yep. I just kind of turned down everyone. No, 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 I fucked this in my settings. Gotcha.
Hooray, it looks like potato. I mean, it's a 3DS game. True. Sure. Is anyone feeling this right now? No. No, man, I'm not. Not really. I'm not. I'm, I'm actually, not. I'm 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 not. No, I'm I don't think any of us are mobile gamers. We do home console stuff. This is <laughs> like the anti-aliasing. Like it's just like, come on. Yeah, so jaggy. Fucking jank, man. I'll Nintendo. Save Ball 2015. Action. All right. I mean that. Sort your shit. They're throwing out 2015 stuff. That's good. Okay, and now they're just gonna endlessly talk about the Zelda thing they just showed. Oh my god. Hello, I'm Onil, Tell us what inspired you to make this Today, I would like to talk game. about The Legend of Zelda, oh, Triforce Heroes, let's go into the latest detail Nintendo about 3DS the art style Zelda game. The history I have the game's director, Shikata, their here personal to backgrounds, Hello. where they came up with the idea. I wanted to focus on multiplayer and co-op. Multiplayer in past Zelda games was more competitive, much like a party game. Everyone would gather to play to see more who would get the most Legend trophies. More serious Legend of Zelda This time, elements. I wanted players to cooperatively enjoy more serious Legend of Zelda gameplay elements, like solving puzzles and going through dungeons. The 3D visuals of A Link Between Worlds just was a great seem like anything feature, new. especially in terms of depth. So I wanted to incorporate that into the multiplayer. It seems so, so slow. That's yep. why we came up with the totem mechanic. Co-op was fully realized with the totem mechanic. What is you the can carry in the your friends doing? on your shoulders <laughs> and reach higher places. A four-player totem was too tall. Yeah. So we decided three was the better choice. <laughs> For single player, there are supporting doll like characters. There are two of them. And you can beat a level by switching between Link and these two dolls. The story starts in a kingdom that is just full of fashion savvy people. Then, we find out something has happened. So the king is looking for a hero who could help. People? So yeah, different man. players are each claiming to be the hero. <laughs> and so it begins. Using items to defeat enemies and conquering dungeons is a familiar staple from other Zelda games. Man, I'll oh tell God. you, I'll tell you, I, so it is such a point So it should appeal to fans of the series. This time, that look like there's they also were on a fashion element for the fashion where you collect element. items to that create new outfits with new abilities. Yep. Yep. By buying yep. and equipping these different clothes, I think this game's 60 FPS though. She's not coming through on the stream. So the same courses will offer so different cool. experiences depending know, on I'm what just, you wear. We're not people that play 3DS games, right? So I'm typing into my notes now with fashion. I'm down. I think fashion. playing with people in online multiplayer where you can't see their it reactions like is fun Zelda. too. I hope people invite others to try out the game with them as well. When playing in multiplayer, we frequently hear Mr. Aonuma <laughs> yelling excitedly about the game. I have the loudest voice on the team. What? Also for Nintendo 3DS, oh, we have God. another new game. Last year, we had the Wii U version of Hyrule Warriors. We're now developing a 3DS version. Wow. This that game was is a real. reimagining of the Wii U game. It will include all the DLC characters from Remember that, that one. game that was on the Wii U that didn't sell well. We're gonna put it on a platform yeah. that probably will. Fuck Wii U. We are also adding additional characters and stages from The Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker to expand the gameplay. 
Hyrule Warriors is not like the Zelda games I create. It is an experience only Koi Tecmo can really bring to life. I hope you will enjoy Hyrule Warriors Legends as well as The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes on Nintendo 3DS. That Hyrule thing. Uh, is this oh, I thought they were going to mention it shortly, not like show off. Jesus playing. Christ. This is... It's been 22 minutes of this already. Let's just drag this on forever so we don't have gotten anything else. They have to have a Metroid. They have to. It's gotta happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta happen. The Twitch stream looks so bad. <laughs> it does. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I've stopped it. I don't mean to insult fans of, of this stuff, but what I'm looking at on my screen right now has absolutely nothing to do with what I fell in love with Zelda for in this year. Like, this game wasn't that bad. It wasn't it. that good, but it wasn't that bad. It's just... At least on the Wii U. <laughs> Cut to my... Place the flute out of here, Link. Let's go. First chord. Oh, God. The puppets. Oh, we're back to the puppets, which are just starting it, to kind of terrify me a little bit. Breathe in that smoke you want to get. Yeah. Development <laughs> in progress? <laughs> the, the sad thing is, is that uh, the puppets are the best yes. thing about this conference so far. What the hell is this? Metroid Prime. Oh, this is that game they played on... Uh, uh, wait, what? This is not that game I played. This is the uh, blaster bar. I don't know what it was. Wait, was it not the thing they played yesterday? Two Metroid things right in a row. Did they? I don't know. Yeah. Blast ball and something. Oh, this else. is new. Oh wait, is this the Fire Emblem? This is Fire Emblem? Yeah. Fates. Okay, this actually looks like it's pretty. Yeah, this looks good. What's well, this is 3DS, right? Or is this Wii U? Is it weird that I can't tell the difference between the two graphics? <laughs> this is definitely Wii U. Oh wait, what? My what? child now. Uh no. Another 3DS. Now Fire. once and for all, no more games. To the death. Here I come. I'll show you. I won't surrender. Now pay for your betrayal. Don't look at me. I might just have to buy a capture card for this game. There is only one punishment. You mean a capture unit? sentence is death. Yeah, it's not a capture card. You have to get a whole, like, yeah, you, gotta, you gotta send in your 3DS or buy brand new ones. It's like, like $400, 500. too. Yeah. No, I can, um, I can probably do it myself. I'm pretty decent with soldering and everything. Still expensive as hell. if you want. Uh, hello. Do it as yourself. Alright, what is this? What is this? You're oh spoiling God. stuff, oh, so be careful. This crossover game, Fire Emblem with Shin Megami. Oh, yeah. Which is not a 3DS game. game. Well, this game is like I, this speaking is to your man. soul, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm like, hello. <laughs> Oh my gosh. 
人類の天敵に対抗し得るもの。Pretty sure I just saw Nintendo jiggle physics. ロードのマスターが現れた。I think my bar for that will be whether or not Waffle likes it. I fucking love it. If it's for the Wii U. Alright, sorry about that. You didn't miss anything. I need. So it's like a Fire Emblem crossover? Mm hmm. Oh my god. And he's holding bananas. Good. That's appropriate. What the hell is going on? I have no idea, but I am disturbed with every passing segment. What it, is this a new Metroid? Uh Oh, this is uh Xenoblade X. Yeah. So we're gonna get a launch date here. Why is the audio so terrible? I know. They gotta hire some better people, man. AKA you and me, because we fucking know, right? <laughs> well, we're not. Who we knows what's going on. on over there? Who knows? <laughs> audio is like real bad, though. Real quiet. Whoa. Like, yes. This is like the, the first footage we've seen today that... Yeah, but this this game's been announced for two years. Like, it's already out in Japan. I, I'm hype as fuck for this. The <laughs> I Twitch stream audio, I think, is being played through a hallway and then picked up by a new microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's completely different. But this is the first footage that we've seen that today that looks like it was made within the last ten years. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I'm hype as shit for this. Oh my god. I can't wait for this game. Oh my but god. But it's not new. Oh my god. I just got spoiled something on Twitter. <laughs> oh, we'll see. Oh god. Oh. What was that? December. Uh... Oh, animal. What is this? What was the date? Oh fuck, it's Tom Nook. He's about to kill Chloe. I swear he's not doing this to Nook. Yes. She'll pay you! <laughs> Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me right now. Is this, is oh this my god. New 3DS? Lude, you're sleeping in the same bed. Yeah, it looks like another Animal Crossing for 3DS. <laughs> Nintendo. No, I mean, people are it's hype like, as shit for this one. On the top right, Animal Crossing Happy Home looks like the title. I mean, I get why they put all of their effort oh into Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. Did oh you just my. See, like, did anyone see that? What? Yeah, they put a card on the thing. Fucking uh, real life. What is it? Oh, they keep putting all their effort into the 3DS. I get it. I mean, it, it's a huge moneymaker. I understand. Wait, but did they not show a launch date for Xenoblade X? Can we please it, just get something? They for, did. I, I missed it, but it was December something 2015. Oh, 2015. Probably. Yeah, December 20th. Wow, that's there was coming out a... on September 25th, right there. Oh, here's a world premiere. All right. Don't fuck the. Fuck! Oh, no. They fucked fuck. it up! It's, a <laughs> it's an amiibo! Wait, wait it's wait, Animal wait, wait, wait. Crossing. <laughs> wait, we're back. I'm back. <laughs> this is a Wii U? Jesus, amiibo? Fuck, it's Mario dreams. Party DLC oh. Animal Crossing. No. Look at that board. It's, no, that's Mario you're Party. right. One amiibo is required for each player in Nintendo. Uh, God damn it, they had me for like a second. I know, I'm so sad. 
Okay, the mobile one was Animal Crossing what? It's oh shit! There's Happy a Tom Holland. Nook amiibo. I'm in. How do I how do I buy it? Oh, I want it. <laughs> uh, dude, the Tom Nook amiibo is like the pimp. I need it. Animal party <laughs> or something. You're a fucking nerd, JP. <laughs> I need it. They'll fucking kill everyone else. <laughs> This really is Animal Crossing Mario Party. Mm hmm. This is so sad. <laughs> Why does this exist? It looks boring. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna play this. It's not even they online. Better have a, they better have an Animal Crossing proper game, too, after this. Amiibo Festival. Amiibo, of they're not. like, they're like right just on the nose with that. Yoshi? Yeah, this is Yoshi's Wooly Yarn or whatever the fuck. Oh, God. So, how many yarn games is that? I Dude, mean, this, right? this was a, this was already announced last year. Yeah. What's yeah. up, Emmy? Also not new. Yo, I'd get one of those Yoshi's. Yo, I do want I... one of those. Yes. <laughs> I don't see a yellow one. Fail. I think this game comes out like next month or something. Yeah. Wii Wait, what? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, someone played this and they said it was... Wait, no, 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 never mind. That was the Kirby game that came out. Mm -hmm. So he has both elements. All right, I'm gonna try to bump the, the other. <laughs> Don't blow my ears out. I decided to make some Yan Yoshi just for fun. Yeah. Because um, I'm not a programmer. So you're about this guy from artist, Sweden who so did the same thing. I it's crazy. Wasn't able to make something in the actual game. So and the if Yoshi's yarn really, does not really mean. So a yarn I of love, to myself, like that unravel game. That I can do then this is bullshit. This game. Fucking. So I went home, <laughs> copied, and got some yarn, <laughs> and I decided to make my very first yarn Yoshi. When I brought it back to the office, uh, the smiles on the face of my colleagues really struck me. There was this proposal made at Nintendo, saying that maybe for a game like this, um, a plushy amiibo would be more fun to have because. You know, it goes well with the vibe of the game. And when I heard that, I fell in love with that idea and decided to make more Yan Yoshi prototypes. <coughs> Yoshi himself. Man, is I'm gonna be so fucking plush, you transform. Wait, really? Is that what they just <laughs> So he turns into like a propeller when you jump and he turns into a mallet when he I bet those things down. in front of her are plushy amiibos. The itself is in yarn well, I don't think fabrics. those are. And lots of textiles. We have places in the game where you can unravel. That wasn't me. That was waffle, by the way. That was waffle. Sorry. Jizz and guys, not me. This game, the enemies are made <laughs> I just want to make sure that everyone knows that I'm not hyped for this. Them, they turn into <laughs> <little> <laughs> the hype is not real. <laughs> I literally just want the plushie. Well, most of all, we want the game to be fun. Yoshi's Woolly World provides plenty of challenges. I mean, it looks like a, a, a fun enough platform. Just, I mean. But also, we wanted to have lots and lots of people enjoy the game, and those lots of people have different expectations on the difficulty of the game and for us um what's so special about yoshi games is that the difficulty yeah maybe i need to be a parent to really get into this you know no i mean this feels, game will probably be good it feels like it's appealing but not like specifically to me anymore this game will probably be good it literally, like, every game is sold in Amiibo so far for this conference. Yeah, of course it has. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the money maker they know where of their money lies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's been more Amiibos than fucking games announced. Like, if I was seeing... It, pretend this wasn't Nintendo and pretend that it was an indie game that was being shown along with un other indie titles, I'd be like, yeah, that looks pretty fun. <laughs> this game will probably be great. Like, I'll yeah. totally play this game. I'm not hyped though. Yeah, that, that's so my point. It's just there's yeah. no. With your friend, you can be a not exciting. Amiibo. If you have an amiibo, and if you use it in Yoshi's Woolly World, then Yoshi's design turns into that amiibo character. So, for example, if you have a Mario amiibo, you can get a Mario Yoshi, which is a Yoshi oh God. in Mario pattern in Mario design. <laughs> so, so if you have an amiibo at home, a Mario fun, Yoshi. A That's character. disturbing looking. <laughs> what? Wait, what? In this game, what, what just happened? I just woke back up. Yarn, he was really <sighs> when you put, so when you put an amiibo on the thing, it'll 
change it when there's a your Yoshi to look around. like the what Amiibo, happens? so like, you look like Mario yes, or What happens Samus. if I put Tom Nook on there? It'll still look like Yoshi, just the, level, the really weird stitching will look different. More like Mario Yoshi, right? <laughs> see what you did. It would be great if you can collect <laughs> all the items in one go, but that is quite challenging. So um, I hope people can enjoy playing the same level over and over again. <laughs> I honestly lost interest in this like five minutes ago. They're still talking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Happy when playing this, game. this feels a lot like uh, October 16th, Yoshi's Island. <laughs> Oh shit, yeah. Give it to me, puppets. Ooh. What? Alright, don't fuck this up. Level five? Okay, I'm in. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. This Whoa. Alright, this might be cool. How are how are you behind and now you're ahead? I'm Magic. I'm Magic, yo. Yes, again. Uh, this is you understand yo a little better now? Is, is this 3DS? Yeah, it's 3DS. Fuck! Yep, expect everything to be 3DS at this point. I'm not hyped. I was. I saw level 5 and I thought, alright. And then it got worse. Use your yokai. Oh, sorry. Yokai watch. What? What the? F They've been showing Yay, Mario Maker like every for Christmas. split. I know what's going on my shopping list. Oh, Paper Mario. What is this? 3DS. That's what it is. 3DS what? Paper Mario. Two Mario, Mario World Collide. What? Are you hyped for this shit, Waffle? I can't contain it. You know, like when you fucking like your boner is so big that you just don't have one. That's what's going yeah, on right now. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what the fuck is going on? This is like Paper Mario meets Mario RPG or whatever. This looks kind of cool. Yeah. Well, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Guys, we've run out of ideas, so let's take our two ideas and smash them together. And merge them. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, are you serious? No, this, uh, I'm, I'm into this. This was, uh... I'm, I can't remember the first game. Uh, but it was Mario actually RPG? good. No, no, no. Uh, it came out on the, uh, the DSi. Tear up your foes. Because they're pa whoa, paper crab Mario. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. So now we've combined Paper Mario and 3D Mario to make Cube Mario for all of your Minecraft desires. That looks completely ridiculous. <laughs> paper Jam. Oh yeah. Paper jam. You can jam it up your ass. Are we gonna have paper amiibos now? <laughs> Wait, this is Wii U. This is Wii U. Wait, is this Mario Tennis Wii U? It is. Yeah, Mario fucking tennis. That's what we want. We needed. That's what we need. Not. Fuck. What? Why is Peach gigantic? What the fuck? That's. Oh god, everyone's getting huge. Steroids! This actually looks pretty fun. Yeah, this. I bet I you this is this gonna be fun as shit. It's gonna be one of the most frustrating games of all time, I bet you. Mario Tennis Ultra e Sports Smash. Holiday 2015. I bet you that'll probably be cool. Developer, mm -hmm. that's what I like to see. It. E3 is my de developer. Working together for God damn it! Years now. Okay. If there's all of the titles and release dates, are, they us, put up on the screen for so short a time, I can't even type it before it's gone again. All right, this As is Mario Maker on, story. And we made more and more side-scrolling games. We had to create a more advanced tool to design them with. Was that a this cat became the basis of Super Mario yeah. Maker. <laughs> the tool got so good that really was. the more we worked with it, the more we realized we could also turn it into something everyone could enjoy. 
With Super Mario Maker, anytime you make an edit, you can see the results right away. This instant feedback can really help okay, your legit, imagination run wild. Okay, legit, this is the first wild. thing that's actually looked really Back in the day, we had to create everything by hand. All right, guys, I piped in some audio courses, for you, sorry. We would actually draw them one at a time onto these sheets of graph paper. We'd then hand our drawings to the programmers, who would code them into a build. While digging up these old documents, we found this. What'd you find? It's very precious. What is it? <laughs> this is a when we first started right here, the idea of this, Super Mario this, Brothers, this, we had a concept of <laughs> land, air, and sea. The fuck is this? See this old sketch of Mario throwing Mario fireballs looks so from a moving cloud? You can now do that in Super Mario Maker. This is Mario you can even control he, where the cloud you know, flies. Had his amiibo, amiibo desires all quenched. Yeah. In the old days, when we needed to fix or change part of the course, it would get really messy if we tried to edit the original drawing. So we'd put this see-through paper on top to make edits. A lot of things might look familiar. But you can combine various elements from the different games to create entirely new stuff. Like stacking different enemies on top of each other to make a huge tower, and then putting a bullet bill on top. You're crazy, man. You can even put things we've never placed underwater. Right, there are some enemies that don't normally appear underwater, Here's like Goombas. Are you gonna be able when to you put one underwater in Super Mario Maker, make or anything it will swim anywhere like a yeah. small shrimp. Yeah, you are. That's the whole point of the game. Yeah. Mario can that would be like even the only take on really the appearance it. of other characters. Play that way. If you make Tap a compatible level, amiibo, play, like Wii Fit Trainer, and Mario can turn into Wii Fit Trainer Wait, when he gets what? a mystery mushroom. What the fuck? It's called what? Costume Mario. We have a lot of these planned. Only compatible amiibo, though. To celebrate yeah, Super amiibo. Mario's 30th anniversary, we're releasing an 8-bit amiibo. When you use it, your Mario in-game is going to appear a bit bigger. The amiibo Whoa, itself is amiibo? pretty big too, oh, to reflect the effect in the game. Crazy. There's also Yo, a Super Mario pre -order amiibos? booklet. The booklet has a lot of sample courses. It's really fun just looking at them, as if this is what would happen if you design the world of Mario in real life. Most times, I start by making a course I want to play, which is usually like a 2-1 or 2-2. Two, two. Once that's done, we try to make it a little easier, so we move on to making 1-1. One, one. It's always like that. I may come across as a mean person by saying this, but in 1-1, one, one, there's a Goomba, which is clearly an enemy, but there's also a super mushroom, and you might run when you first see it. You That's run, crazy, but there's a block above, oh so you can't run. So if you jump, the ceiling is low, so you usually hit it. But when you do, you grow big. It's a surprise. There Don't are stairs, spoil it for but me. there are gaps. <laughs> the first tweet. gap has a floor, <laughs> and the second one is the one you want to avoid because it's bottomless. So it's a tutorial in a sense. We put a lot of thought into those types of things. When playing a Mario game for the first time, it's a challenge to run and jump at the same time. New players usually fall into the first pit because they can't make the jump, but they learn from it. They usually fall into it because they can't Excuse make it. Me? It's like game design training pit? software. Oh, Try it if you want to get into game design. <laughs> I mean, this all looks great. Like this, I'll With play this. practice, anyone can become a good course designer. A for, like, <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be great oh, yeah. to play. Like, I'm like having I want to be 11th of September. September. Damn. I said that Nintendo's experience soon, like, for E3 is all about transformation. Packs. And That's while we've given shit. you a sneak peek of some of our games coming later in 2015, there's still much more to share. Next, Wait, that, that Nintendo comes out Treehouse Live at E3 begins. Like 9 we'll kick off with really? Mr. They Miyamoto and fellow like, really? developers flying That's through not a good Star day. Fox. That's not a good day. Not a good day. And if you can't wait oh, to get yeah, your hands on Super Mario Maker, the opportunity you... is right in front of you. 
I'm just gonna Wednesday, say, from 4 PM when that game launches, PM, someone's gonna make Saturday from noon the two towers PM, fucking level time. right off so the bat. Yeah. Like, that's oh, gonna be a thing. I'm just saying, Nintendo brought it off themselves. And experience the game for yourself. That's also completely true. You can find the details of all of our activities this week at e 3 dot nintendo dot com to close as anyone transforms be it a person I mean, or it. a company yeah it's good to reflect on where you've been to help uh, guide where you go next time that they over the past 30 years something. more than a billion people around the world have played a nintendo game and most of them have played as gaming's biggest star mario it will be what from the music to the costumes to the characters Super Mario isn't just Nintendo's mascot. There's a little piece of him and certainly memories of his adventures inside all of us. Are, are they really showing one one? Oh. Hey guys, remember when Nintendo used to make games? Yeah. yeah. That's what we're remembering right now. <laughs> They might be doing like an ultimate Mario collection of all the old games or something. Mario time. Pretty collection. Doesn't that exist already? At least they're all available. They've done it a thousand times. Yeah. Yeah. Mario. What? All right. All right. It's over. We're calling it quits. Why is this happening? Oh my god. Uh, uh, I can whistle. Uh, <laughs> Did they get uh, copyright permission from each of these people to? their likeness on the screen of course they did they, they took half the revenue they're good grill yeah hey what who was this oh my who God. this for who who's gonna what when they made this this montage did they I, think I'm about a demographic and go you know somebody's gonna really want to watch this i'm putting nintendo at the bottom of the list for conferences <laughs> I, I did that like <laughs> nintendo 40, 40 oh my ago. god please Thank you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, at this point, give me Pele. I'll take Pele back <laughs> now. That's funny as Damn, that guy's really into those fucking maracas. He's offbeat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's so <laughs> I don't understand what this has to do with fucking video games. Like, what? They're wasting so much time. I don't. Hey guys, you want to join the celebration? Let's let SuperMario.com. It's now open. Oh uh, my gosh. See what this is. I wonder how many people are just gonna submit porn like wearing a fucking Mario mustache oh and shit. Well, now that you've I always it, think of the darkest it. things that someone could do with something because that's what the internet's gonna do. And do it for a good cause. With Nintendo making a donation to the nonprofit group Operation Smile. Visit yeah, our site cool. for details. Let's have some fun. Wait. Let's support a great cause. And Wait. Let's Super Mario. Let's make a video that you're gonna get no revenue off of. What? Because you <laughs> can't charity. use our franchise at all. Nintendo's like, hey, these fucking YouTubers, they're making money off of us. Yep. Let's let's now let's tap into the regular. Let's make market. some dumb shit and make some money. Yeah. Because we don't have enough amiibos. Get everyone <laughs> to dress up in our cosplay and then start charging them for it secretly. Get them to sign a TOS that just says they have to like live their lives by us now. Hey, I am very pessimistic about Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, I'm seriously biting my tongue. They deserve the salt, I, though. The, the irony is that... I'm pretty I salty. Up, like, I grew up playing their stuff. I grew up watching that, like, that old TV show that they had. I, I, I loved them when I was a kid. And it's just not the same. Man, it's over. This is some treehouse, playhouse shit stuff. Uh, well, that was a thing. We got nine minutes to square, so...
Fuck. We got to talk about this now. <laughs> there is nothing uh, to talk about. Uh, I... talk about it. I think we all know how we feel. I, honestly, that fucking uh, uh, the Fire Emblem crossover game, that was the most hyped thing I got hyped for. Like, who, I, start... who invited a toy company to E3? <laughs> like... Yeah, we could have had Mattel there and maybe we would have had more than what we got. I don't know. That was just that was really, really <laughs> mm. disappointing. Disappointed. <laughs> the only thing I got out of the whole thing was Star Fox. That's all I got. First five seconds. Yeah. Which, I, what, didn't yeah, even that look that it. good with the tilt controls, to be honest. Like, I mean, they're they're playing to their strengths, right? Like they're making more amiibos, and I, I Is guess that really a yeah. strength, though. I mean, uh, fuck no. Monetary wise, yeah, it's, it's, okay. they're making like, billions. Every show that they're doing is so blatantly for the money, right? <laughs> Like well, they're the not thing, even like, they're not even pretending. Well, there's no risk. Nah. Yeah, there's no risk at all. <laughs> like, this happened to Warhammer. The investors want short-term income, and that's the way to get short-term income, right? Stock will go up short-term, long-term. No, you're fucked. But you know, investors don't give a shit about that. They can just get out if they need to. It's, I don't see, I don't see how this is going to be good for them in long run. But definitely short, like, in the short I run, they're going to make lots of money, agree. which is stupid. Because yeah. I mean, the way that I see it is that. Like, I, as a father of young children, right, is speaking just from what I'm observing from young kids, young kids uh, don't seem to care about Nintendo like we do, right? Like, they, they, they are not invested in the, the Nintendo franchises like kids used to be. And, uh, and the older gamers that are actually have money to spend are getting lost because of all this crap that doesn't appeal to us at all. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it seems seems like yeah. they're eroding their base while making stuff that has so little depth that just about anybody could come out with like I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying not to be overly salty, but they've they've <laughs> just completely yeah. lost me. I and my entire childhood was Nintendo. Like and and I'm and I'm watching this and I'm just like, I, <laughs> yeah, that was a thing, that was a thing. Uh, uh. Uh. It's just kind of crushing because like I yeah that that was my literally my entire childhood and to sort of see it go down the, I don't know, it's. It, I, I kind of wish I was in your shoes, Bacon. Like, I wish I had kids that I could just sort of see how it affects them, sort of as a litmus test at least, you know? Like, I wonder how Mini Wheat feels about all of this. Do you know what I mean? Maybe yeah. he'd be the better person to say, well, that's really awesome and that's shit. And then we'd know because from where I'm standing, it just kind of looks like everything's very blasé, you know? So. I mean, they, they can only – there's only so long that they can keep – um, releasing games that look 10 years old before everyone over the age of like 12 just completely stops caring. Yeah. You know, it like Where's at this that? point, it's looking, it's looking so it, I mean, it, I remember when, when, when the Wii came out and things were kind of low res, it was it was still kind of innovative the, the the new control system and stuff and and they were doing cool enough things that we kind of forgave them for it you yes. know yeah but at this point like it's been so long and after the amazing things that we have seen in this E3 so far to to then look at what they've put on the screen i, I just i don't know i don't know how that's not embarrassing at, at this yeah. point yeah and it's really hard to like not sound salty about it like even if you remove yourself from that nostalgic emotional place and just kind of think about it from terms of like you know what kids might think of it or just not even comparing it to anybody else and it's still really hard to say anything without being mean like, it is I, yeah yeah I, there's I, nothing I, that I'm we can really say about that conference it'll sound positive uh no. except that tom tom nook or, amiibo no nah, man I'll like okay i guess if you guys had to highlight something on that entire conference, what would you highlight? Because for me, it was a crossover game just because I like those kind of games. And it looked like it was decent. For, I forget what it was. Fire Emblem something. Fire Emblem, Shin Megami, like, Shin Megami Tensei, whatever. Yeah. I forget that what was the probably it. Was. I mean, Mario Maker, I think, is going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Be for streaming. 
And I think that's yeah. probably yeah. the highlight of the entire thing. It's I'm, gonna... I'm hyped for Mario Maker. Yeah, I think for Mario sure. Maker is the only mm -hmm. thing. Mario Saving Tennis me. looks pretty. I mean, I'll. I'll oh play yeah, Mario fucking Tennis, Mario. Yeah. Okay, Mario Tennis, Mario Maker, and the uh, the Fire Emblem crossover. Yeah. What? The, uh, so I guess they're showing a Fatal Frame trailer right now on the the. I don't know. It just launched on YouTube. That kind of is weird that that didn't show up in the fucking thing. Nintendo yeah, will probably a show story. a lot of stuff. Like they, they did that last year. I think they announced Mario Maker on the Treehouse stream that was not part of their their digital thing. So, mm -hmm. um, I just to mention that the Twitch channel is now actually showing trailer for the next Tomb Raider. It looks like. Yeah, I guess oh, this yeah. is Square, Square Enix. Enix is already kicking off. Yeah, maybe so. So no, I don't think it is that. because I'm watching Square Enix's stream as well, and they're not okay. showing anything. So I think this is just another trailer. It's just filling the spot. Yeah, that's a all Microsoft right. trailer. Uh, all right. Well, we need to uh, we need to say goodbye to Shannon. Shannon, I'm so yep. sorry for bringing you on for the worst fucking panel. Thanks, man. <laughs> it's like you wanted to punish me. You don't bring me on for Bethesda, but you bring me on for fucking Nintendo. It like, was bad. Okay. It was bad. It was punished. bad. Thank you so much for filling in. Yeah. Uh, you want to do any shout outs or anything? No, 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 I'm good. I'm gonna go play Fallout Shelter, man. I finally okay. got this piece of crap set up. So I'm Wait, why is it a that. piece of crap? Because it took four hours to set up today. So what? Why? yeah, of like you know, with the cable to like connect it to your OBS oh. that you can stream it, all that kind of nonsense. It was just a sure. absolute nightmare. But Chris sure. did it for me, so that's what I'll be I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. We'll be right back. We're going to bring on Pele. We got him here. I got a million dollars yesterday. He's coming on the show. We'll talk to him about FIFA and the beautiful game. We'll see you guys. Tally's coming on. We'll see you guys in just like a minute because the Square Enix Perhaps. conference is about to begin. So we'll see you guys then. Bye-bye, Shannon. Bye. Bye, Bye Shannon. Shannon.